Exclusive Contracted Novel by Felu Novel Network. Pirates. Genius of the Beasts. Quinn Victor. My name is Lin Jie, also known as Victor, and now my name is Quinn. But this is not important, the important thing is that I am very clear that I am a genius, so are the garbage ready. Be prepared, mock fully open, awaken your true self, embrace progress. Blood and flesh are weak, mechanical soaring, welcome the glorious evolution. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Little 3 Where is my mistress? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Jie slowly woke up from the confusion and confusion. In the next moment, I felt a burst of dryness in my throat, as if it was about to burn. Subconsciously murmured, Third, pour me a glass of water. After speaking, he opened his mouth and waited for feeding. For a long time, when Lin Jie's confused consciousness gradually came to his senses, he discovered something wrong. The mistress. Where's the mistress at home? Damn it, which bastard dismantled my mistress? Lin Jie's heart ignited a long-lost frenzy of anger. Before he could react from his anger to what had happened. The next moment, only a crisp click was heard. It should be the sound of old dot-fashioned wooden doors opening. It's strange that Zuan is a slum area, but shouldn't all the doors be made of garbage? Even now, Lin Jie still hasn't found anything wrong. Until, Brother Quinn, are you awake? That's great. I thought you were beaten to death by Boss Kido. A half-sized, little carrot head appeared in front of Lin Jie with a mouth full of sharp teeth. At the same time, accompanied by the sound of little radish head, his voice rang out. Like the big bang of the universe, countless pieces of information began to explode from Lin Jie's brain one by one. After being slightly stunned for a long time, Lin Jie silently lifted his already mechanized hand. Grass, what's wrong with him? He's a reformed person. Dot. Little Radish Head looked at Quinn, who was completely opposite to usual, somewhat bewildered. Brother Quinn, what's wrong with you? Did you get brainwashed by Boss Kaido yesterday? Hey, hello, the ship doctor, the ship doctor is not doing well. Brother Quinn, got brainwashed by Boss Kaido. Shut up, Jack, you idiot. I was just thinking about something. Kaido's training intensity has been getting more and more exaggerated lately. In order to avoid being knocked to death by him one day, the process of reinforcement seems to be imperative. As Lin Jie spoke, he silently mourned for three seconds for the original owner of this body, Quinn. Lin Jie is a big spender, and coincidentally, the boarding body he wore last time, like his current boarding body, is a modified person. In his previous life, Lin Jie changed his name to commemorate his past years after piercing into the genius body that had undergone a tough transformation on his body and accidentally hiccuped. Victor Lin Jie According to the above habits, his brand new name can also emerge with the flow. His current name is official. Quinn Victor Lin Jie Considering that crossing once is already extremely difficult, and even crossing twice in a row, it is impossible to penetrate into the transformed human body of such an accidental death. Lin Jie shouldn't have said that Quinn doesn't think he will have such a third chance of making a comeback. Quinn decided to strengthen and modify himself meticulously before his current boss, the leader of the beasts, continued to beat him under the guise of training. Enhanced Transformation Brother Quinn, are you going to transform yourself into the kind of robot that can transform with a click? Let me see the process, let me see the process. It has to be said that Jack, who is still young, has a childlike second heart in front of acquaintances, despite his large and rough appearance. Shut up, if you want to see it, go find the medal for me. That bastard, Kaido, won't leave me much time. I need to strengthen my defense as quickly as possible. Oh, oh, what medal do you want, Brother Quinn? I'll go to the warehouse and bring it to you right away. Fool. 
since it's used to enhance defense, the harder the better. Oh oh. I know, the hardest metal, there are many in the warehouse, and I'll help you transport them right away, Brother Quinn. Jack said with excitement and enthusiasm on his face. And then Quinn's forehead was bulging with veins as Jack pushed his cart into his laboratory, piled up with a mountain of blue dot gray ore. Jack, is this the hard metal you brought to me? Quinn said in an unpleasant tone. Yeah. Brother Quinn, Hai Lu sure is definitely the hardest metal ore in the world, which we currently occupy. If it weren't for such a large batch in the country of Harmony, Hai Lu Shur wouldn't be able to be found at once. Jack patted his chest with pride on his face. Bastard, Jack, you idiot. Then tell me what the Sea Tower Stone is for. Are you trying to play with me, right? In a fit of anger, Quinn picked up one directly from the small mountain, and Sea Tower Stone pressed it to Jack's mouth. Taking advantage of the situation, I wanted to push Jack, who was feeling weak and weak all over, into it. Hey. Quinn. Big brother. I'm powerless. Angry. I'm capable. Ah. Jack hadn't realized what had happened yet, but he suddenly touched the Hailu Shu on mine, which also caused him to lose all his strength in the first place. Furious Quinn finally put aside the idea of continuing to bully his little brother, and turned around to throw away unlucky things like Hai Lu Shi, what? Quinn looked at his palm tightly gripping the Sea Tower Stone, and his expression suddenly had a hint of stiffness. If the results are accurate and the estimate is not false. He, perhaps, probably, maybe, is a capable person. As Quinn thought about it, he transformed himself into orc form. So what kind of situation is this? Quinn looked at the Hailu stone mine in his hand with some confusion, feeling a bit unsure of what went wrong here. Forget it, since you're not afraid of having to renovate it first, if you can have the power of the Sea Tower Stone, then next time you face Kaido boss, you don't know who will be pulling who. Quinn looked at the Sea Tower Stone mine, in front of him with two bright eyes. Although he couldn't figure out the reason, he felt that he might become a more real and powerful true nemesis in the world of One Piece than Blackbeard, the future four emperors with dark fruit abilities. In the future, as long as you are a capable person, even if God meets you, you will give him a two-click kowtow. While thinking about Quinn, he excitedly picked up Hai Lu Shi, mine, and ran towards his testing platform. Chapter 2 Victor, Your Uncle you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The person with the ability of Devil Fruit is afraid of the sea, and upon encountering the sea and the sea tower stones with the power of the sea, they will be directly sealed off with all their abilities and fall into a state of weakness. After research by scientists from the world of pirates, some believe that this is because seawater has an extraordinary suppressive effect on mutated genes called bloodline factors. Some people believe that it is a manifestation of the ocean's disgust and the devil within the fruit of the devil. As for the specific reason inside, Quinn is not very clear. However, Quinn is after all a dual agent with rich knowledge and intelligence in the world of One Piece, combined with the wisdom of Victor, a genius mechanical pioneer from the Rune Continent, who came from the previous world. With a little understanding, Quinn came up with such a highly probable explanation. Devil fruit abilities may not be physical, fearing the sea. But rather the soul or spiritual body fears the sea. After eating the devil's fruit, their spiritual bodies will be contaminated and transformed by the devil's fruit, leading to fear of the sea and sea tower stones. As for the fruit's ability, it will be stored in their bodies. This is also why in the original work, the white beard on top of the war can be pulled out by the black beard to shake the fruit after death. Because at that time, the power of devil fruit had not yet departed from the body of Bai Hu Zi, who had just died. However, the pollution and curse carried by its abilities have been taken to the underworld by the spirit of the white bearded. From this theoretical perspective, he may have a high probability of making a fortune. Victor of the Rune Continent is an ordinary human, and the only difference from ordinary people is that his intelligence is outstanding, 
and he is kind. hearted and helpful. In the end, under the repeated impact of human nature, Victor gave up the idea of continuing to be human. Instead, he used a surgical knife from his own laboratory to undergo a series of reconstructive surgeries, removing the flesh and blood, as well as the emotional and dependent parts of his soul. And ultimately became the so dot called mechanical pioneer. A mechanical transformation person who takes it as his responsibility to lead all humanity towards glorious evolution. The mechanical modification of ordinary people comes with great risks, and a little carelessness can lead to death in various unexpected situations that occur during surgery. Not to mention the surgery I performed on myself. At the beginning of the surgery, Victor customized a brand new robotic arm for his conscience. Finally, with the assistance of this robotic arm, he completed his own transformation surgery. Of course, in the world of Rune Continent where Quinn was located, Victor made a mistake during his surgery, ultimately allowing him to occupy the magpie's nest and become a mechanical pioneer. At this moment, after sneaking into the world of One Piece, Quinn doesn't need to create a mistress for himself to assist in mechanical modification surgery like Victor did in the past. Quinn's body is a person with the ability to eat ancient species, dragon fruit, and brachiosaurus form. Quinn himself possesses extremely strong vitality, and the even more outrageous thing is that he had already completed the awakening of the demonic fruit a long time ago. Make its own vitality even more robust to an incredible level. That is also why Quinn, who is inherently greedy and cowardly, dares to undergo large dot scale mechanical transformation surgery on himself. So why don't we just do a full body bone replacement? Quinn began to get busy in his laboratory. He first searched through a pile of chemical agents and found a large number of miscellaneous and unnamed drugs. Then, he poured them into a huge transparent beaker for mixing, and immediately threw one after another of the original or of high loose shirt directly into the special pharmaceutical agent. The next moment was accompanied by a tingling sound that made the scalp tingle. An incredible thing has happened. The strongest mineral in the world of One Piece, Sea Tower Stone, surprisingly dissolves and liquefies crazily under the action of Quinn's easily mixed potion, accompanied by countless grey-white pungent gases being expelled, ultimately resulting in a pile of small mountain-like Sea Tower Stone raw ore. It turned into a dark liquid that condensed into a lump at the bottom of the beaker. Its total volume has decreased by almost nine-tenths. Undoubtedly, Based on this consumption ratio, the essence of this dark liquid is undoubtedly the purest seafloor stone ore. Very good Victor, I shouldn't say that I have no problem with my potion formula. I am truly a genius. Seeing the success of his potion shipment, Quinn was ecstatic and inexplicable. Immediately after quickly finding a large pool and injecting a large amount of clean water into it, a large amount of ice and saltpeter were further placed. Then the whole person lay down directly inside. Under the control of the remote control in their hands. The liquid in the huge beaker began to be extracted one by one into a specially designed syringe. And finally targeted Quinn's entire body, big and small skeletal parts, with a fierce injection. Ow! Pain, unparalleled pain. At that moment, Quinn felt as if he was in a boiling oil pot. It seems like it could be completely fried and cooked out of the pot at any moment. Even though he was in a situation where the cold water and saltpeter were both cooling down, he still couldn't feel any coolness. Except for the unbearable scorching heat. At this moment, the only pain that Quinn could feel was a deep bone marrow pain, and at the same time, Quinn almost fainted from the pain. However, Quinn is well aware that he cannot faint, absolutely not at all. If you can't bear such intense pain, once you completely faint, you really can't wake up again. Victor, your master's pit master. Quinn roared wildly with veins all over his face. Even with the barrier of ice and water, its sound still reaches the level of being heard for ten miles. He remembers very clearly that in Victor's bone replacement surgery, the only evaluation given by him for this surgery was. But that's all. Is this all yours, but is that all? Under extreme pain and the stimulation of survival will, 
Quinn began to curse wildly. Finally, just as Quinn was about to reach his limit, under the strong emotions of unwillingness, resentment, etc., he seemed to hear some kind of cracking sound, and the next moment his whole mind was suddenly shaken. Chapter 3 Wolverine Fat Dragon Wolf You are listening at NovelFull.audio Aurora, Quinn did a great job. When Quinn opened his eyes again, the first thing that caught his eye was a familiar ceiling. Then a wild big face, staring at the horns of the cow, entered his sight directly. He was so scared that he punched hard on the spot. Ha! Huh. This feeling. Kai Duo, who was thrown out by the hammer, was a bit confused. At the moment when Quinn punched, he actually wanted to test his younger brother's current combat effectiveness. What surprised him was that at the moment Quinn's fist touched him, he found himself temporarily losing control over his body. Then he was ultimately punched and flew out by Quinn. Mr. Kai Duo, are you sick? Jean looked at Kai Duo, who was flying out with some confusion. According to his understanding of Kaido, Quinn's attack should not have achieved this effect. So. Is Mr. Kaido sick? However, Jean Fu once again glanced at Kai Duo's brave body, which even the Sea King class would silently shed tears upon seeing. The brain automatically eliminates the unreliable thoughts just now. So Jin's gaze turned strangely towards Quinn. Did your Sea Tower Stone experiment succeed, idiot? What? What's that? Didn't you ask Jack to come to the warehouse and take away a large number of sea building stones before? Now he can easily defeat Mr. Kaido. Apart from your sea building stone experiment, I can't think of any other explanation. Dot. Is that what Jack, that little brat, said? Quinn felt a bit headache. If he really said he had mastered the technique of using sea tower stones for those with abilities, it would be okay, but did Nima master it? He's just a coincidence, okay. <laughs> Kaido's favorite thing to do in the future is to commit various types of suicide, have the Navy execute him or directly fall from a height of tens of thousands of meters without any protection. For ordinary people, this is a suicide technique that can be described as 10 deaths without life. The only effect that can be brought to Kaido is to further enhance the resilience of his already invincible body. Obviously, after just being punched and thrown away by Quinn, Kido discovered another interesting training method. Kai Duo, boss, please let me go. I just died once. Have you died once? Gene silently thought of how his muscles and tissues were red and emitting scorching heat when he first discovered Quinn. This genius just had a surgery to inject the sea tower stone into his bones. And luckily, I managed to survive. Is this the secret you just revealed to Mr. Kaido? However, by injecting the sea tower stone into your own bones as a capable person, I retract the conclusion that you are an idiot, you are a madman. Jean said solemnly. Mohahaha, there is only a narrow line between genius and madman. So, let's just say that you are praising this genius. So, Kaido, the boss, and the torture pervert, do you too want to join the glorious evolution? Don't worry about the Sea Tower Stone Bone Modification Technology. Although it's not yet pure enough, other metal bone modification surgeries are definitely not a problem. Cut. It's boring. Metal or something is weak and exploding. I completely agree with Mr. Kaido's words on this point. Me, me. Brother Quinn, I want it. I want it. Whether it's Kaido, known as the immortal body. Or it could be the ashes of the Linalia tribe, whose body is much more resilient than ordinary metals. If Quinn mentioned that the material used in the reconstruction surgery was high lusher, the two of them may still be tempted. But if it's replaced with ordinary metal or something. Where is it cool, where is it staying? 
It can be said that the only person present who was extremely excited was the mermaid little ghost Jack, who is a member of the mermaid tribe known as the Saddle Grouper. Silently gazing at little radish head, who was only over two meters tall, Jack clearly met the standards of an adult in terms of normal human size. However, Quinn knew that in the future, Jack's height would reach the level of 8.3 meters at one point. He hasn't fully developed yet. Jack, you idiot, shut up. If you want to undergo a metal skeleton modification surgery, the first requirement is to complete the awakening of the animal series. And before the technology is fully mature, once this surgery is performed, the growth of the bones will be completely shaped. Don't you want to be a three-inch boy, do you? No, 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 I don't want it, I don't want it. Jack's idol has always been keto. In his opinion, a true man needs to be tall, big, and strong enough. He has always longed to become a fierce man like Keto. At this moment, upon hearing Quinn's statement, once this surgery is performed, the only thing that will happen in the future is the appearance of a three-inch clover. With a sudden awakening, the whole person is not doing well. Mm, it doesn't matter. Didn't you just complete the enhancement, Quinn? Let me test your enhancement results. Kai Duo couldn't bear it anymore. Of course, Kai Duo is also a clever man who really wants to fight and also wants Quinn to exercise for him. However, he also wants Face to win over someone. It's really losing points to have my little brother press his own hammer. Therefore, before finding effective measures to prevent and control Quinn's Sea Tower stone skeleton, Kaido Chicken Thief took out the big. Stick under his crotch, ate fast. Damn it. I can't do it, I just completed the preliminary reinforcement renovation. It's still a long way from complete. Quinn was so scared that his eyes stood out on the spot. Obviously, Quinn's refusal cannot stop the arrival of Kaiduo. The more fatal thing is that after the bone strengthening and replacement operation of Hailu Stone Essence, the strongest mineral in the world of pirate, Quinn's skeleton strength has reached an appalling level. That is to say, he is harder and more durable than before. Combined with the ancient awakening period's inherent super-restorative power. Can you imagine it? The scene of Kato, who is naturally irritable and aggressive, encountering a man dot made Wolverine. Chapter 4 Wolverine Enhancement and Transformation Change you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Well, well, Quinn, your research is really amazing. Let's continue attacking me like this. Use your Sea Tower Stone Bone Claw. Let's try tearing me apart. Kai Duo, who was covered in thin and long bloodstains all over his body, shouted excitedly. Across from him was Quinn, with his entire body turning blue and purple and sharp claws popping out from his hands and feet. In the original work, Quinn is a Brachiosaurus, and its enhancement direction is the combination of demon fruit bloodline factor, modern thermal weapons, and biochemical weapons. The original version of Quinn, which is arrogant, naturally shows little interest in this crude melee weapon. The current Quinn is different. You should know that the main reason why he reinforced and transformed his entire body bones for the first time, apart from Victor doing the same in his memory, is that he was influenced by an old wolf. If you want to cosplay the old wolf, how can you lack claws? Cos without wolf claws is soulless. Of course, Quinn, who is well versed in the spirit of pragmatism, would not blindly transform himself according to Uncle Wolf's appearance. In his opinion, Uncle Wolf's wolf claws are indeed quite cool, but whether from the perspective of modification difficulty or practicality, they are undoubtedly his brother's sword-toothed Tiger Victor's tiger claws, which are more practical and effective. At the same time, considering that the strength of his arms, legs, and feet is actually more massive and terrifying compared to his own, in order to increase his melee output function, he has also strengthened and modified his ten fingers on both feet. Under the influence of pragmatism, Quinn decisively chose to follow his own inner choices and named it, Wolverine Enhanced Transformation. Change. 
From the numerous claw wounds of varying sizes on Kaido's body, it is undoubtedly evident that Quinn's Wolverine enhancement and transformation can be described as a great success. If you look at it with a picky eye that picks bones from the eggshell, the only drawback of this technology is probably that every time a pair of feet are modified, they have to scrap a pair of shoes. Kai Duo, please spare me. I'm just a scientist. You keep attacking me in the face like this. If you hurt my genius brain, how can I live in the future? Well, long, 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 then you can use your genius brain to develop a weapon to defeat me. Gollum Gollum, Gollum Gollum. Thundering Gossip. After drinking, there will be a round of thunder. Kai Duo is obviously not that kind. He is a good gentleman who likes to listen to advice. The next moment, he copied the eight fasts and said again that he was swinging towards Quinn's head. Even before he swung his big stick, he took some time to give himself a drink. Crouching slot, Kaiduo boss, you're not talking about martial arts. You're trying to kill me. Quinn's eyes were about to burst out. Is it okay to have two candlesticks, one under normal circumstances and one after drinking? C. Poisonous dragon extinguishes. Quinn's skeleton has been transformed into a sea tower stone skeleton by him, with extremely high strength, but his brain is still a physical mortal, even after being strengthened by ancient species, it still remains at the level of mortal beings. For blunt penetrating damage such as the eight fasts, the resistance is extremely average. Considering that if I were really hit in the head by Kai Duo, there is a high probability that I would end up with a so dot called severe concussion. Quinn took a deep breath on the spot. In the next moment, a flame with an emerald green exterior and a blue dot green interior sprayed out directly from its mouth. Quinn was originally a scientist and also a suicidal scientist with crazy attributes. Under the joint efforts of high-dot-intensity crazy criticism and killing, even though his talent was not comparable to that of Burger Punk, he ultimately achieved extremely impressive results. One of them is a technique that he is extremely satisfied with. Blood factor transplantation surgery This technology allows him to arbitrarily insert and sort the bloodline factors, or genes, of other living organisms into his own and even others' bodies. Quinn's body has already inserted five lineage factors, including flames, lightning, toxins, invisibility, and winches, into his own body, which were extracted through Bega Punk's research. But after occupying Quinn's body, Quinn, on the other hand, stated that these abilities are truly inadequate. The power of flames and lightning is insufficient, making direct machine gun shooting more convenient and efficient. Invisibility is a divine skill for low dot level battles, but wouldn't anyone at his level be able to wield one or two powerful auras? It's useless at all. As for the winch. The only two things that have had some effect on him are the winch that allows his arms to extend a bit, increases the attack range, and the toxins that can prevent poisoning in his daily research. The strengthening of this ability is urgent. Based on this causal determination, Quinn targeted his current boss and an orphan of a certain Linalia clan. With his authorization, Quinn, who had sufficient experimental materials, quickly strengthened his flame bloodline factor. By the way, I have obtained the dragon extinction power of Kaido. MMM, this move, this feeling. Quinn, is this the result of taking my blood? Kaido stood up somewhat shakily from the ground. The power of the dragon's extinction was not enough to break through his resilient and invincible body, but the sea tower stone factor contained in it, as well as the toxins and sedatives he had consumed in large quantities before the battle began, truly made Kaido overjoyed. Kai Duo is very confident that even as a phantom beast, he will lose his combat power in a short period of time when facing this highly toxic dragon extinction. Therefore, compared to other Superman types, the natural type effect will only be better or worse. At the thought of this, Kaido couldn't wait to take Quinn out on a wave. The newly established Beast Pirate Squad is short of everything, with the most lacking being a strong enough combat capability. Indeed, combat effectiveness is something that one must cultivate in order to be loyal enough. 
It's a pity that time doesn't treat me. Considering the fact that he was about to engage in a fierce battle with Guan Yu Yutian, Kaido felt that he might take Quinn out to sea to arrest a group of capable individuals and subdue them. I don't ask them to be convinced of him, as long as they can attract enough firepower in his decisive battle with Guan Yu Yutian. Chapter 5 Scientists and the Bullies You are listening at NovelFull.audio Mohahaha, are you capable of capturing? This proposal is really not bad. However, Mr. Kaido has declared in advance that if it's someone with interesting abilities, they should be handed over to me. Of course, if you have any abilities that you can admire, you can also tell me. Quinn happily licked his lips. At the same time, subconsciously, he began to ponder which group of the remaining four bloodline factors inserted into his body he should modify next time, or simply remove which relatively useless bloodline factor. As for continuing to add new lineage factors directly to one's own body. He never even thought about this kind of thing. There is a difference between bloodline factors, and the more bloodline factors are transplanted, the greater the burden on the body and the easier it is to say that there is a possibility of genetic collapse. For example, the artificial combat robots and the blazing angels that Bergapunk painstakingly crafted. The total number of bloodline factors loaded on the body is only three. The genes of the seven martial seas do not count, including the genes of the Lunalia clan, the genes of the yellow ape laser, and the genes of the devil fruit ability. However, Quinn's body was infused with five bloodline factors. This shocking quantity is enough to startle everyone's chin. Sometimes Quinn even doubted whether the reason why Quinn's ontological consciousness was so easily attacked by Kaidwa's stick was also related to the disorderly bloodline factors in his body. Therefore, before addressing the defects associated with the bloodline factor in his body, Quinn had no idea about adding a brand new bloodline factor. It's better to think about finding bloodline factors with similar properties to the five groups of bloodline factors in his body to transform and fuse, or even find ways to extract those useless bloodline factors, given the time to commit suicide. At this moment, Kaido's actions are actually exactly what Quinn expected. After all, only those with sufficient abilities can collect enough bloodline factors that interest him. The next day, early in the morning. Kadwa grabbed Quinn, who was even fatter than last night, and set out on a brand new journey. As for the remaining two people in the future, three disasters. Jean needs to stay in the country of peace to oversee the overall situation and cannot escape. Jack is simply a little devil. Mm, I have been very concerned about your health since the beginning, Quinn. Kadwa's dragon eyes, soaring in the sky, slightly froze. In fact, at the beginning, he actually wanted to grab Quinn and fly away. However, after touching Quinn, he ultimately had to choose to change the way he carried Quinn to placing it on his own dragon spine. Moha, are you still feeling it? I really did undergo quarantine treatment. Quinn's face showed waves of bitter, bitter, regretful, frustrated, and malicious smiles. Oh, so what exactly is that? Also, I remember yesterday your body shape didn't seem so round, right? The dragon's head was slightly turned to the side, and the dragon's eyes were raised to look at the little brother sitting on his own dragon spine, who had taken out a seat from somewhere at an unknown time. Maha, this is a secret, Kaido boss. I have no plans to expose it temporarily. Cut, boring idiot. Besides, Quinn, you idiot, make a hammock for me to carry later. Not everyone can sit on my back. Kaido doesn't mind, someone is sitting on his back, after all, he's not really a proud dragon race. He is just a person with the ability to eat animal species, fish fruits, mythical creatures, and green dragon forms. However, Quinn's attitude, which did not satisfy his weak curiosity, made Kaido very dissatisfied. If it weren't for the powerful technology demonstrated by Quinn, being able to provide strong and powerful support to his newly formed beast pirates, he already wanted to throw Quinn directly into the sea. At the end of the day, even though Quinn is a member of Kaido's crew, 
but the time they went to sea together was only a few short years. Not every pirate group can, like the straw hat pirates, go out to sea for less than a year and cut corners for their companions. More pirate groups are still in a situation of stabbing two brothers inside. Kaido's side is slightly better, but there isn't much good either. For Kaido, there's no problem blocking the knife for his subordinates. Limited to those who are useful or trusted. Obviously, in Kido's heart, Quinn and Jean belong to either of the above two. In fact, the main reason why Kaido said he would choose to come out with Quinn this time is also based on this point. Kaido didn't trust Quinn very much, especially after his last training in sit-ups, Quinn's personality changed greatly, which even brought his trust to a freezing point. For a moment, Kaido even had the idea of killing him to prevent future troubles. But. During this period, Quinn's demonstrated skills are really amazing. Not to be trusted, strong in strength, and skilled in technology. Such a person, keeping him at the base camp, Kaido felt that with the strength demonstrated by Quinn after transformation, if he wanted to do something, Jean might not. It shouldn't be said, Jean would definitely not be able to stop him. As for taking away the ashes, not to mention that even the people of the ashes couldn't stop Quinn. If Jean is not here, he truly cannot imagine that scene. It is not possible to leave Quinn in the land of peace, nor is it possible to leave both Jean and Quinn in the land of peace. It is even more impossible for him to stay in the land of peace as a dead house. Since that's the case, then we can only go out together with the unstable factor of Quinn. Coincidentally, you can also ask Quinn to collect experimental materials that he finds interesting. More with one move, more with one arrow. Kaido's careful thinking, Quinn, he doesn't know, but he doesn't want to know, even if he does, he doesn't care. After all, even in the original work, it is not entirely true how much loyalty Quinn's true self said to Kaido. Even Quinn's true self looked like that, and it was not long before he was mentioned that Quinn had been wearing it. Nowadays, in Quinn's heart, his relationship with Kaido is more like the model of the world government with Bert Punk. Scientists and the Bullies Chapter 6 The Greed of Rich Women You are listening at Novel Full Audio. New World, Cake Island This is the headquarters of Totland, the famous pirate kingdom and fairy tale kingdom of the future New World. Wangwa Torrent is a dreamy country, and according to incomplete statistics, its citizens are one of the highest happiness groups in the entire New World. They can enjoy sweet and delicious desserts without hard work, and can have a stable and happy living environment compared to most New World residents without the need for hard training. The only thing that needs to be paid for is lifespan. He can't quite remember the specific amount of Quinn, but vaguely remembers that this kind of life expectancy extraction for residents is done every six months, each extraction for about a month. It seems cruel to say that this kind of thing shortens the overall lifespan by one-sixth in plain life. But in the uncertain new world, the residents of all nations are already too happy. At least they don't have to worry that one day, they will be annihilated by a group of inexperienced pirates and spiral into the sky. However Quinn glanced slightly at the Cake Island below them. It is obvious that compared to Cake Island, which has been completely improved 21 years later, Cake Island, which has just entered the initial stage, is not as beautiful and dreamy. At least the future famous huge cake-like mountains have not yet been officially established. Heavenly Fire Before Quinn and Cato could officially land, the next moment a sun suddenly rose into mid-air, and an incredibly blazing fire could burn towards their faces. Glancing slightly at the little sun spewing flames wildly, Prometheus. Quinn muttered to himself in his heart. Even dogs won't eat roasted fruits. Immediately, he left his throne and flew up, opening his big mouth and taking a sudden suction. Hiccup. Not bad, the taste is pretty good, it's a bit like sun candy. The original version of Quinn itself transplanted its own body, with an unknown source of fire attribute and demon fruit bloodline factor. Subsequently, 
with the transformation of the core quine, additional bloodline factors such as the dragon extinction of the green dragon and the bloodline factor of the Linalia clan were added to this fire attribute demon fruit bloodline factor. In terms of controlling the flames, Quinn has now fully reached the level of a so dot called dragon slaying wizard in a neighboring world. It's just a flame error. Ma 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 ma. Kid Kai Duo, why do you have the leisure time to visit me? Besides, it seems you have found some decent subordinates. The woman, who was forty or seven years old at the time, had a figure that was not yet like a bucket in the future. It can even be said that the ant at this time is quite beautiful, with an exceptionally hot figure. Surprised, he glanced at Quinn, who Prometheus used to greet the flames, and then spoke up. Mmm, -mm, do we need to talk about this kind of thing? Old lady. Quinn is the best subordinate under my command. Now in his thirties and eighties, Kaido silently gathered his dragon body and transformed into a human figure, laughing heartily. Obviously, he was very satisfied with Quinn's ability to handle Ant's greeting behavior perfectly in the first time. Ma 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 ma, damn stinky little devil, it seems like you haven't been loosened by the old lady for a long time, your skin is itching. Napoleon timely broke away from his ant's head and turned into a war knife, falling into his palm. Mmm, are you angry now? But I'm sorry Lingling, I don't have any intention of fighting with you at the moment. Humph. Auntie also put away her Napoleon to a moderate extent. As one of the future four emperors of pirates, in fact, except during the period of anorexia, Ant's intelligence has always been quite online. However, for monsters who excel at using their strength to solve all problems, they prefer to use their fists to solve all problems instead of using their brains. Auntie is very strong, and at the age of 47, there is no doubt that she is at the peak of her life. Compared to him, Kaido has a slightly inferior taste. Kikijuo is actually a demon fruit power practitioner of the phantom beast race. Even though he is 38 years old and has not yet reached the peak of his life, he will definitely not be too far away from it. Combined with the rough skin and thick flesh characteristics bestowed by the mythical beast species, even if she could defeat Kaido in a real fight. The aftermath of the battle was enough to leave her newly accumulated family fortune with nothing. The next moment, Auntie turned her gaze back to Quinn. Don't you introduce me to you. Well, well, how could that be? But let Quinn do it himself to introduce this kind of thing. Hello Captain Charlotte, I am Quinn Victor Lingia, the chief scientist of the current Beast Pirates and one of the double disasters of the epidemic. You can call me Quinn in your daily life. Chief Scientist. Is there an epidemic? What an unexpected man. Is there still a scientist with such powerful abilities in the world? Ant's eyes began to show an uncontrollable greed. As a senior member of the Rock's Pirates who almost ruled the entire world. Ante, unlike most mindless thieves on the sea, thinks that scientists are just a bunch of boring and useless waste. Excellent scientists can completely achieve explosive and crazy growth of a force's strength in a short period of time. As for top scientists like Bega Punk, who is rumored to have technology that surpasses the world for 500 years. Auntie even felt at one point that she was fully capable of creating the ultimate weapon to threaten and even defeat monsters like them, the pinnacle of the ocean. Therefore, Auntie has always had a desire to recruit a group of outstanding scientists. Unfortunately, due to the special lineage of the Charlotte Pirates, their unique family background has made it difficult to recruit suitable scientists. In order to achieve this wild hope, the anti-pirates team even began to cultivate their own unique scientists under great helplessness. Unfortunately, what was ultimately cultivated was only a batch of two knives. They don't have any science or technology they can handle, otherwise they wouldn't have set their sights on the clone manufacturing arsenal of the Wensmach family in the future. Mmm hmm Chapter 7 Quinn Octopus Form You are listening at novelfull.audio
Is it a companion who once came out of a pirate group? With a single glance from my aunt. Kaido knew her purpose. Directly dodged in front of Quinn, guarding against Aunt's greedy gaze. At this stage, even if he is afraid of Quinn, he is also his Kai duo. In the short term. No, it should be said that he is the only outstanding scientist who can be recruited for a long time, let alone this outstanding scientist who is so powerful. Want him to give up Quinn and play a trick of sacrificing himself for others. Don't even talk about the door, there are no windows. Cut, stingy little brat, but I didn't have any bad intentions, right? The ant saw the determination in Kaidwa's eyes and muttered in displeasure, then the conversation changed. However, on the other hand, the most important thing for us to be pirates is our own strength. I don't know Kaiduo, how strong are the people under your command? Mmm, -hmm, hmm, lingling, do you want to see your subordinate son, like a doll, completely shattered by my trusted love? Kai Duo smiled as he was worried about not finding a chance to show off his muscles when his aunt actually sent him an excellent and perfect excuse. So much so that when it comes to his aunt, the title he originally intended to call Old Lady was directly changed to the more affectionate Lingling. Of course, considering that Auntie is essentially a cunning and cunning pirate, in order to avoid any incidents where Auntie personally ends up, Kaido decisively spoke up to run the bank. Ma 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 ma, Katakuli, come and show your Uncle Kaido your power. Obedience, Mom. Katakuli, who was 27 years old at the time, had extremely strong strength. Even though he did not reach the level of terrifying combat power of later generations, such as that of an imperial deputy, he absolutely stabilized the position of a naval general at the headquarters, possessing the average level of combat power of the seven martial seas in later generations. Mahaha, there's only one person. And is he still a capable person? Mahaha, Miss Charlotte, I think you might be able to have a few children come up, otherwise just your second son is really not enough for me to fight. Ma 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 ma, you are such a arrogant bastard. It seems that your subordinates are annoying, not to mention anything else, at least in terms of their verbal skills. Aunt squinted and said displeasantly. Mmm, there's no way the truth will always hurt people's hearts. Cato showed a deep agreement with Quinn's words. Auntie was slightly taken aback by the sight, and then didn't make any fuss. Ma 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 ma, Perispero, Dafu, Owen, since your uncle Kaido has said so, why don't you also come out and help Katakuli? Don't let me down. Aunt's eyes lit up with a fierce light. Please rest assured to leave it to us. Mom, Pelopalo. I have the advantage of playing four against one, and I'm not sure how we'll lose. As the eldest brother, Pelopalo was the first to fight and gave their mother a solemn guarantee. Peros Perot is clearly very confident in the outcome of this wave of fighting. Of course, this is also a normal thing, as the other party is actually a scientist. As far as we know, it's already outrageous for a serious scientist to be able to fight. But what about a giant who can fight? How could such an outrageous thing possibly happen, so Pelosi Perot concluded that Quinn was bluffing. Moha, your advantage lies in you. No, 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 you may not have figured out the specific situation. Actually, this wave has my advantage. Come on, let's show you my new toy. Versatile Quinn. Octopus Doctor Form. The next moment was accompanied by Quinn's battle instructions. After four crisp popping sounds in a row, the four limbs were dotted with stars, and the cold mechanical tentacles had already broken through his spine. Facing the four Charlotte brothers with open teeth and claws, just like him. At the same time, what was surprising was that with the breaking of four metal tentacles, Quinna's slightly plump and plump figure suddenly transformed directly towards the so-called bodybuilding coach's smooth muscle lines, which were like cheetahs. In the blink of an eye, he transformed from a round and plump mansion to a muscular man. Mohaha, let me introduce myself. I am a scientist, and three, four, five, and six are my best assistants. They can assist me in completing some extremely difficult and precise operations, and they are also my best combat weapons. 
As a pioneer in mechanical engineering from the Zuan region, Quinn possessed extremely excellent scientific research abilities in his previous life, and based on this ability, he created his excellent assistant, Mistress. After crossing over to this body, Quinn clearly felt a bit uncomfortable with the hassle of missing an excellent assistant. Before completing the full body metal bone replacement, Quinn had already prepared a plan for it, leaving behind a portion of his own bone germ cells in advance, and successfully recreated four bones used to make the mistress through cloning and cultivation. The follow dot up became very simple. Since he was able to complete the metal bone replacement himself, there was no reason why the bones he cultivated were not good. As for the manufacturing technology of the mistress, please, that's something he already had in his previous life, so it's not a problem anymore. At the same time, due to the fact that the materials used to manufacture the mistresses are already a part of them, there is no possibility of exclusivity at all. So much so that when he finished manufacturing, he immediately achieved flawless storage and integration, commanding like an arm. On weekdays, when there is no need to use them, Quinn will put the mistresses inside his body and store them in the gaps in his chest ribs to further strengthen the defense of important parts such as the heart. The devil fruit of the pirate world is an extremely unscientific magical treasure. Especially demon fruits like animal type ones that have the ability to be used by inanimate beings. The demon fruit of the animal series can transform a series of dead objects such as metals into living flesh and blood. Based on this, Although Quinn has already completed a full-body metal bone replacement at this moment, he is even further working on mechanical metallization of his internal organs. In daily life, he still maintains a flesh and blood body that belongs to humans. The flesh and blood of humanity can make him more vivid and humane, unlike Victor in his previous life, who was just a cold and ruthless machine. Chapter 8 Instantaneous Seconds you are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Full Body Metalization and Mechanical Transformation. How could it be? You were just a flesh and blood body. Katakali had a strong talent for seeing and hearing colors, and although he was young, he had not yet successfully mastered the powerful vision of the future like in the future. But it has already possessed an incredibly powerful and terrifying level. At the moment when it was confirmed that the battle was about to take place, he had already conducted a comprehensive visual and auditory scan of Quinn. In order to identify his weaknesses and flaws. Mohahaha, is it a scanning tool for seeing and hearing colors? It's really a powerful talent for seeing and hearing colors. But my strength is not just that. Octopus strangulation. Quinn's body itself has been transplanted and with the help of the genetic factor of the winch fruit, he can easily stretch his hands and feet like rubber fruits, stretching for tens to hundreds of meters. Since Quinn can do this with his hands and feet, there's no reason why the mistresses he specially added for himself are not working. In the next moment, four ferocious mechanical tentacles, resembling electric drills, suddenly burst out from behind Quinn and turned into four piercing lightning bolts, swooshing towards the four Charlotte brothers. Dodge quickly dodge. Among the four brothers, there is only one person, Katakali, who can react and make corresponding evasions and warnings. The remaining three people, all of whom were bound by Quinn's lightning fast and stretchable metal tentacles, were ambushed in an unprecedented manner. And at the first moment, he entered a weak and powerless state, losing all his resistance abilities. Damn it, is this feeling like a sea tower stone. Dafu's weak and powerless face showed a heavy gloomy expression. Be careful, Katakali brother. This despicable chubby weapon is embedded, and once the sea tower stone is caught, it will be all over. Irving's face was full of unwillingness, as he was just about to show off his skills in front of his mother. Who would have thought that their three brothers were instantly annihilated by their opponents before they even made a move? They still have the most excellent and powerful Katakali here. Otherwise, the thought of the four of them being instantly annihilated by someone under the expectant gaze of their mother. In an instant, their whole bodies trembled with fear, trembling to the extreme. That will make Auntie feel embarrassed. For anyone who causes her to lose face, 
Auntie will not let them feel better, even if they are her biological children. So they still have it, and their brother is undoubtedly the strongest member of their Charlotte family, except for Auntie. The fact that they were not immediately killed by Quinn's raid just now is the biggest proof. However the three brothers looked at Quinn with a low mood, leaving only the empty tentacle. Can we really win this idea involuntarily emerged from the hearts of the three of them. Ma 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 ma, are you transforming people and using sea tower stone weapons? It seems that you have also recruited an extremely decent subordinate. Although his three foolish sons were given a second by Quinn at the first time. However, at this moment, Ant did not show any signs of anger. With a deep vision, she was well aware of the sudden and difficult e move of Quinn. As long as one is capable, there is no such thing as saying that they will not be defeated. Even for a monster like her, who is at the level of the fourth emperor, if she suddenly encounters this high dot purity C tower stone weapon attack, not only will she lose her resistance ability, but at least it is absolutely impossible to use her ability. Her three sons will be defeated in the first place. Belongs to those unexpected and reasonable things. Even mothers with relatively high intelligence have developed a sense of self-blame. Damn it, I knew I shouldn't have sent all the capable soldiers to battle. Now I'm defeated. I hope Katakuli doesn't lose too badly to my mother. At this moment, Auntie even said that she had already determined that her second son, whom she was most capable of, would face her true first defeat in life. Well, well, I feel the same way. Kato's eyes flickered slightly. Kaido actually has a subtle sense of Quinn. Appreciate his strength and skills. Once again, I felt that Quinn, who had been knocked unconscious by him, had inexplicably twisted his heart. If Quinn's strength is not strong, then he won't have any excessive caution. In the end, the world of pirates is still a world of strength and the law of the jungle. If one's strength is insufficient, no amount of conspiracy and calculation will be of no use. The key point of the problem lies in Kido's surprise discovery. What bloodline gene did Quinn use? No, it should be called the research and modification of bloodline factors, as well as the modification and replacement of one's own bones. It actually has, on par with him. Even vaguely relying on the innate suppressive power of high Lu Shur on capable individuals, restraining their power. To put it simply, there is someone around me who can restrain himself and still harbors ulterior motives. That is to say, Kaido has a broad mind, otherwise a normal person would have already taken action against Quinn. Throwing a cup is a sign, with a knife and axe added. Mohaha, Katakuli, your sight and hearing are indeed very strong. But give up, no matter how strong your sight and hearing are, it cannot make up for the gap between us, heaven and earth. As long as you are a capable person, you cannot defeat me. Unless you can master the technique of domineering color entanglement. Later, Quinn silently added another sentence in his heart. When Kaido fought against Straw Hat Luffy in later generations, he once said, Hegemony is the power that surpasses everything. Although this statement was later defeated by the technological power of Bergapunk, in a sense, it is absolutely true. As long as the dominance is strong enough. Especially the most special dominance among the three colors is the dominance of the king color, which is powerful enough to affect reality and cause physical damage. So a domineering owner, even a capable one, will possess some incredible characteristics. For example, like a mother in later generations, even if bound layer by layer with high dot purity C tower stone chains, she still possesses the power of vitality. Humph, don't be too arrogant, octopus bastard. I've already discovered your weakness. Katakali glanced at the four tentacles behind Quinn and immediately gave him a real nickname. Chapter 9 Divide the autumn colors equally. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Convex, idiot glutinous rice essence, I'm a dinosaur, you bastard. Siphon energy. Mmm, -mm, puff. Katakali had not yet realized what had happened. I just felt a sudden cramp in my body, 
and instinctively opened my mouth and sprayed out a mouthful of blood. In the next moment, all Quinn could see was that he didn't hold on to the mechanical tentacle of the person, and a burst of laser energy condensed from his palm. Aim in his direction and shoot over. Mohaha, are you powerful in seeing and hearing? Can you dodge this harmless trajectory technique for me? Victor was a scientist when he was on the continent of Valoran. Subsequently, it relied on its own strong strength and was awarded the title of Mechanical Pioneer. How could someone like this with a name and surname say they don't have much of their own expertise? For example, this technique of siphoning energy is Victor's proud skill. By conducting an internal detonation and energy siphon form of energy attack on the enemy, while obtaining an energy shield constructed from the opponent's energy. At the same time, in its next attack, an additional attack attribute belonging to a portion of the energy within the detonated enemy's body will also be attached. While causing unavoidable damage to you, protecting yourself can also be used as an additional blow to your energy. Highlight a situation that harms others and benefits oneself, making it difficult to prevent. A cunning bastard. Katakali was not sure what had just happened, but he could clearly feel that his internal organs had just received a certain amount of explosive damage. At the same time, his physical strength was also lost for no reason. This kind of injury and stamina loss will not have much impact on the combat effectiveness of these advanced combat forces with super long health bars in the world of pirates. Undoubtedly, this mysterious and unpredictable attack method immediately aroused the horror of Katakali. A little makes a lot, water droplets pierce through stones. One or two attacks may not completely defeat him, but when the number of such attacks reaches ten or a hundred times. At the thought of this Katakuli, I couldn't help but ponder the operation of siphoning energy. Directly took out his weapon, Trident Earth Dragon, with his backhand. Noah Tuan 2 CI. Mohana, from a frontal attack. So I'll let you understand what true despair is. Mechanical Wrist Dragon Man. With Quinn's low roar, the next moment in the eyes of Big Mom pirates, who were extremely shocked, the body had become slender and full of male muscle charm and beauty due to the extraction of four mechanical tentacles from their bodies. Once again, it has transformed into the previously plump and bloated posture. Of course, this is not the most important thing. The important thing is to transform into the form of the Orc Quinn, whose surface transforms into a cold posture that reflects the meaning of metal and steel as it changes. Subsequently, it launched a thrust attack on the sticky ball that was bound to be obtained, facing Kataku Kuri. He even held his head high and chest high, without giving in, using his metal chest to fully unleash this move. Radiant golden sparks and discomforting metallic noise. Crazy stimulation of everyone's eyes and cochlea. In the end, when the battle between the spear and shield came to an end. If the only evidence that can be left to prove that this incident occurred. That's probably only the pattern on Quinn's chest armor, which is about 10 centimeters deep and looks like a target eye. It looks good already, but don't forget that Quinn's height is already over 6 meters in human form. After entering the form of an orc, his height reached a height of 8 meters, and he crazily advanced towards the 10 meter giant with a determined and unwavering step. Under such a volume hero, this kind of surface-breaking attack is not even enough to penetrate his epidermal mechanical tissue. Perhaps giving Katakuli enough time, he can truly cause substantial damage to Quinn, but the key point is how long it will take. If Katakuli, as a capable person, is unable to cause damage to Quinn in an instant. Subsequently, his four mechanical tentacles, as well as the skeletal structure of the sea tower stones all over his body, were able to easily defeat Katakuli. Mohahaha, isn't it good, little ghost? You can even pierce through my chest armor. I admit your strength. Impossible, impossible. How could ordinary steel block my attack, and is your posture a legendary mythical beast? Katakali decided that his three senses were severely impacted. Whether it's Quinn's defense or Quinn's heavily metalized mechanical body. Mohaha, that's not right. Lousy, he's just an ordinary ancient cultivator. 
but who makes Lousy a scientist? For scientists, it's natural to use the power of science to strengthen themselves, isn't it? Ma ma ma, I see. Is it a reformed person? But why can you switch back and forth between the flesh and blood body and the metal body? Auntie stood up from her own camp. His eyes lit up with doubts. At the same time, silently gesturing with his eyes, Katakali retreated. She has confirmed one thing, Katakali's attack is completely incapable of causing any substantial damage to Quinn. A master of skin grinding and scraping. On the other hand, Quinn's casual strike can bring terrifying output effects that directly defeat Katakali. This kind of battle can no longer be called a battle, it is completely overwhelming. Compared to later, Quinn showed overwhelming power and completely defeated Katakali, causing her embarrassment and embarrassment. It's better to quickly let Katakali give up, at least in this way, we can still barely use self-deception to comfort ourselves. Make it clear that you haven't lost. Probably. Mohaha, explaining this kind of thing in detail can be quite complicated, but Miss Charlotte, you can roughly think of it as a technological version of your ability to create hummets. So, is it a technology similar to manufacturing hummets? Damn it, I can't understand at all. I'm so angry. Ant suddenly realized on her face and roared wildly in her heart. Ma 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 ma, let's not talk about these disappointing things. So, Kai Duo, what are you doing here with me this time? Chapter 10 Quinn's Product Promotion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Auntie doesn't want to delve deeper into fields she doesn't understand at all, let alone let the battle that just made her feel embarrassed continue. Resolutely and forcefully change the topic. Maha, let me explain, Miss Charlotte. After speaking, Quinn took advantage of the situation and grabbed a mechanical tentacle on his back. After a crisp click, the mechanical tentacle was easily removed from his back by Quinn. Detachable, metal prosthetic. It can be equipped with a variety of combat weapons such as firearms, cannons, swords, halberds, and even sea tower stone weapons. Even if willing to pay a sufficient price, it can have a certain amount of demon fruit ability. In addition, as a high dot precision auxiliary prosthetic, it can even achieve high precision to assist ship doctors in surgical procedures. What does this mean? The mother, who was originally somewhat careless, suddenly widened her eyes. Obviously, she also understood the value and significance of this detachable prosthetic. That's right, that's right. These little treasures, besides being used for combat assistance on their backs like me. Their biggest function is actually to use them as hands and feet. Pirates are a high-dot-risk profession, and it is normal for them to experience combat damage or similar incidents during battles. The war damage here can be mainly divided into two categories, one is lethal war damage that directly loses its life in battle. Another type is to lose the disabling damage of hands and feet during combat. If Quinn's invention can be manufactured in large quantities and transplanted to pirates who have lost their hands and feet, it will definitely be a significant strength enhancement for any pirate team. Even in the later stages, the Mama Pirates, which mainly relied on the Hamet's Legion as their troops, remained the same. After all, the vast majority of the existence in the Hamet's Legion essentially belongs to those low-dot-level miscellaneous soldiers. On the truly high-dot-end battlefield, those who can play a role are also the powerful pirate elites. Can it reach the level of limb prosthetics on your body? If it can, I'll take it. It's just over 50 million, how much does it cost? On weekdays, my mother was extremely clever and immediately noticed the business opportunity and offered her own purchase price. Miss Charlotte, if that's all your sincerity is, then I think Kaido and I should be able to find some other partners. Ms. Charlotte, this specially designed high dot tech product, after careful research, has been roughly divided into four levels. 
Its prices are 5 million, 20 million, 50 million, and 200 million, respectively. Among them, the civilian version with only 5 million belly can give the person who installs it five times the strength of an ordinary adult male limb, fully meeting the daily needs of those civilians. It can be regarded as the main product of our future beast artificial limb group. The elite version at the level of 20 million has been upgraded on the basis of the civilian version, not only possessing 50 times the physical strength of ordinary people, but can even be transformed into a certain amount of cold and hot weapons to assist in combat. This is a weapon I have specially prepared for those sea warriors who are good at fighting. Then comes the highlight. As a luxury version worth 50 million belly, it uses the bloodline factor technology one mentioned to you earlier. In my design, anyone who installs this metal prosthetic should be considered a true elite warrior. This type of mechanical prosthetic does not have any fixed strength threshold, but instead interacts with the user's body muscle tissue to obtain the strength that the body had previously lost. Ma 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 ma, can you obtain a limb that is indistinguishable from the lost limb? It's really a magical power, but can this really be achieved? The most essential thing in the world of pirates is the existence of various monsters. The so dot called hundredfold strength of ordinary human limb sounds exaggerated, but in reality, its strength is just that. At least in the eyes of most knowledgeable people in the world of pirates, pirates with a bounty of around 20.30 million belly possess such supernatural power. This is also the main reason why Quinn priced the elite and mechanical tentacles at 20 million belly. Mohaha, of course it's not possible to achieve mass production now. Without critical materials, at least we can't achieve the so dot called mass production dot. Ma 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 ma, is there a lack of key materials? But it seems like you already have a goal from your tone. Aunt squinted her eyes. At the same time, she silently pondered in her heart the benefits she could gain from this matter. Suddenly, wait, it's not right. If you were to tell me why your mechanical tentacles are so strong, even if you were a sea tower stone and used the strength of an ordinary person's arm, it's absolutely impossible to suppress the three of us. Pelosi Perot seems to have noticed the glitch in the matter. Mohahaha, I am truly the steward of the Charlotte Pirates. I am indeed much more meticulous in seeing things than most people. As for why I am so strong. It is simple because animal-type demon fruits are the most unique among the three major demon fruit systems. With a certain amount of special skills, animal-type demon fruits can completely give life to dead creatures. After a slight pause, he said, and the transformation on Lousy's body is also based on this reason. The same transformation can also be applied to animal-type demon fruit abilities besides Lousy. If not, the only way is to find the person who has already been targeted by me. Ma 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 ma, it feels like it's really troublesome, but forget it. Kaiduo, the old lady in the business, has invested in it, and I'll take half of the profits afterwards. Do you have any objections? Auntie greedily laughed wildly. Lingling, you stinky old lady is thinking nonsense. At most, you can earn 20% of the profit. In addition, you will need to pay extra metal or in blood. Bloodline factor. Yes, that's right. Various bloodline factors are used as cost chips.